Guys, a lot is happening, and I want to get this up tonight, so it's there in the morning for all of you in the good old U.S. of A. that wake up early and try to get some news about what's happening. Well, Dawn of War, this is the headline on Drudge Report. This is a Wall Street Journal article. Same old, same old, same narrative, mainstream media doing all the pushing of this war. Um, the headlines, does Obama know he's fighting on Al-Qaeda's side? That's a pretty interesting headline. Let's just check it out. This is in the independent. Um, my computer is really slow tonight. Does Obama know he's fighting on Al-Qaeda's side? Wow. All for one and one for all should be the battle cry of the West Coast war against Assad's Syrian regime. Well, of course he knows. It's <laughs> If Barack Obama decides to attack the Syrian regime, he has ensured for the first time in history that the United States will be on the same side as Al-Qaeda. Quite an alliance. Was it not the three musketeers who shouted all for one and one for all each time they sought combat? This really should be the new battle cry if or when the statesmen of the Western world go to war against Assad. The men who destroyed so many thousands on 9-11 will then be fighting alongside the very nation whose innocence they so cruelly murdered almost exactly 12 years ago. Quite an achievement for Obama, Cameron, Holland, and the rest of the miniature warlords. Okay. I will link below to all of these articles. But, um, yes, Barack Obama does know. Because he, we have been funding Al-Qaeda. We created Al-Qaeda. We fund Al-Qaeda. We fund terrorist groups. Flashback. Biden wanted to impeach Bush for attack without Congress approval congressional approval. Well, Obama has never once gone to ask Congress, no, 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 we ask the United Nations now. We bypass Congress. Strike within days, warplanes being begin arriving in Cyprus. White House not regime change, bull. Well, you can see all of these headlines, okay? So we are going to war. And my hunch is that we have stepped up. This is happening with such rapidity that you can't even think. Things are unfolding so quickly. Why? The UN official, Syrian rebels used Syrian nerve gas, not Assad's army. They don't want people to be able to even give this any consideration. They're going in and they're going in fast because too much information has come out. The Daily Mail reported, although they removed it, but it's been found out. I reported on it. A lot of people have been reporting on it that Obama has approved a plan. They, Obama approved the plan to use chemical weapons and blame it on Assad. That is noted and a lot of people have been reporting on it. UN official Syrian rebels used Syrian nerve gas, not Assad's army. This should be in breaking news on every news show, all of them, but it's not going to be reported at all because the narrative is just like the narrative that we have been telling since Vietnam, since the Korean War, since World War II. It's the same narrative. It never changes its tune. What we do is we conquer countries. We topple governments because of their natural resources, because we want full dominance. We want full control. We back dictators until they no longer suit our agenda. And this is exactly what's happening in Syria. Just like 
Obama did in Libya, he's now doing in Syria, and he's been doing, he's been bombing Pakistan, he's bombing Yemen, he's bombing Somalia, he's bombing all over the place, our Peace Prize president. Wow! Get a Nobel Peace Prize, and then you get to sit in an office and drop bombs on innocent people. Well, that's what we are doing right now in Syria. That's what we've been doing because we are funding those rebels. UN official, Syrian rebels used Syrian nerve gas, not Assad's army. But guess what? Okay. Confirmed, Assad fleeing Damascus to Iran. We're already bombing, I believe. We've already begun our strikes on Syria. And that's why Assad has fleed to Iran. Fled to Iran. Um, there's unconfirmed reports that Damascus, uh, there has been large explosions near the Syrian presidential palace in Damascus. Hence the reason he has fled to Iran. This is going to explode. This is going to be so worldwide. This is going to have such profound ripple effects and guess what oil has already crude oil already skyrocketed stocks are slumping ripple effects we are going to feel them big time C green has a and I'll link below to all of this but he has a video out tonight US airstrikes in Syria could start tonight I believe they've already started and that's why I do think that that unconfirmed report that large explosions were heard in Damascus is going to eventually be confirmed but I want you to watch look I this has just started today every time I click on something I get these weird you know oh download this download that it doesn't go to the right page it's it, my computer is really working overtime for sure so I apologize for all that you know, it, I feel like I'm going to get a seizure looking at all that flashing, flickering crap. But, important video, please watch it. What's also important in what C. Green has said is that they dumped one of his videos, YouTube, for violations of commun violating community standards. They took off a video of his. And then I learned that they've also taken off storm clouds gathering video because and I couldn't believe when I read the message from a subscriber of mine so I went to storm cloud gatherings um, channel page the last video he did was two weeks ago so the video I uploaded on my channel that storm clouds gathering did which was essentially saying uh -uh, we're blaming Syria it's not the Syrian military using these chemical weapons. It's the rebels using the chemical weapons. And we're doing the same old, same old here. Come on, baby boomers. Remember Gulf of Tonkin? No. <laughs> it was a false flag attack to get us into Vietnam. We've done this over and over and over again. But the reason why Barack Obama and our military is moving fast on this, because two much evidence too much evidence is unfolding that will stop will prevent their agenda so they have to overwhelm overwhelm the American population overwhelm them get right in there before anybody can even consider what the new news about the UN coming out saying not Assad's army Syrian rebels using the gas we gotta get in there fast and I'm afraid we're gonna wake up tomorrow and find out boom we're in please please you don't have to put out my videos you just get this information out everything is going to be linked below this video all of the articles all of the videos linked below please get this information out the fact is is that it is absolutely 
absolutely our responsibility. It is our responsibility. Everyone who watches this video, it is your responsibility to tell others about this. Even if it doesn't prevent the takeover of Syria. People need to know the truth. I'm tired of this lying narrative bullshit that comes out of our mainstream media and our government. People need to know the truth. And Americans need to wake up and smell the coffee. We need to stop this idea that we're just wonderful and we're going in to, you know, save people. Are you kidding? We're not going to be saving anybody. We're going to be killing and slaughtering a whole lot of innocent lives. We may be doing it as I speak. We've been doing it. We've been doing it. The truth needs to come out. That's why they didn't wait. They just came right out, started blaming, just like we did with 9-11. We came right out and, uh, and attributed blame to Al-Qaeda. And then we come out and implicate Saddam Hussein, who had nothing to do with 9-11. Please, please, get this out to people. It's so exhausting. It's just, it's so heartbreaking and exhausting. It's incredible. UN official, Syrian rebels used Syrian nerve gas, not Assad's army.